Until midday, this is the morning program with Gary Adshead on 882 6PR, the voice of Perth. Well, welcome back. And now let's uh, have a chat to Robin Murphy. She's from the Friends of Trig Beach because you've heard about uh, one of the parts of the Scarborough Beach redevelopment. Uh, apparently, the Metropolitan Regional Authority uh, wants to, Redevelopment Authority, I should say, they, they want to. Put, and the more I'm sort of thinking about it, I drew myself a bit of a picture of it too. So if you go behind Observation City and you, you look left and right, you'll see sand dunes. Now imagine there's a road there. So in other words, the beach gets cut off by a road, doesn't it? It does. Anyway, you look at this. What do you think about that? Nine double two double one eight eighty two. From an environmental point of view, uh, I know that the Friends of Trig Beach have some concerns about it because they've sort of fought these fights before. G'day, Robin. How are you going? Uh, well, thanks, Gary. Uh, you, how much of this did you know was being planned in terms of these roads? Well, we had no idea um, that this that the MRA was planning to extend the Esplanade north and south and, as you've pointed out, effectively create a barrier between the, the existing buildings along Scarborough and also the beach. But worse, that it would be going through two coastal dune areas that have been protected under the um, the state planning authority's Bush Forever legislation, mm. and uh, we just couldn't believe. We were thinking, you know, what genius in the MRA decided that it was a good idea to build a road through two Bush Forever coastal dune areas north and south of Scarborough Beach, particularly when there is already plenty of road access. Okay. So the, the reason they're doing it, and I, I bet because you probably know the area better than me, the reason they're doing it is because right now at Scarborough Beach uh, there is a traffic flow problem uh, given the, 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 the intersection and the amount of traffic that comes around that. They want to make, they want to give people an option to get out of Scarborough Beach um, onto West Coast Highway sort of further away from the actual beach itself. That's, that's the plan. Is, hmm. there, is there another option? Well, I'd just like to know uh, what they're planning on doing this at the expense of what little there is left of our natural environment and our coastal dunes. Um, yes, there are there are alternatives. I mean, we're not we're not here to tell the MRA about how to design roads. Uh, what we're here to do, the Friends of Trig Beach and also the Friends of Trig Bushland and various other coastal environment groups, is to protect the um, South Trig Beach Reserve and also the uh, South Scarborough the, um, Coastal Reserve from an unnecessary road. And if you just visualise this road, which you just had a, um, a, a good go at doing, and I think you did very well, um, it's going to create a, a an access or a, a, a egress and um, access, I think they call it, at each end of Scarborough Beach. Uh, Scarborough for many years was renowned for traffic problems. Now these problems extended to Poonin yeah, along yep. Scarborough Beach, but yep. many of us remember that, those of us who've been around for a while around Scarborough. Now the City of Stirling spent a lot of money putting in road design and various other um, obstacles to prevent this happening. And the MRA now has come along and with uh, you know a stroke of a pen uh, decided that it's a good idea to have a road that goes in a lovely loop which will give, um, you know, have lot, uh, people lots of <laughs> access to the road. as well. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, they, they, it, it, we're baffled by this, particularly as in 2012, the city of Stirling, uh, following a public consultation, um, uh, uh, supported the closure of a very old road reserve which exists at North Scarborough, mm. which is um, approximately the route of this uh, proposed road. Um, and that went, and the reason the City of Stirling did that was that it said that it would enable, the road closure would en enable that part of the bushland to be incorporated and amalgamated with the Class A reserve. Yep. Now, this was a popular and responsible decision. Then the MRA comes along, and as I said, with the stroke of a pen, reverses all that and decides it's a good idea to have a. Um, you know, to put a barrier, lane. to put another yeah. barrier between. Yeah, you know, look, I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the more you sort of it's, visualise it, the, the crazier an idea it sounds. It's not like it's a, it's it's not sort of a, a coastal highway that they're 
that they're building there. This is just uh, relatively small um, threads of road, but uh, right at the beachfront. Can I ask you what's in those dunes and those coastal areas that uh, we need to protect? Well, uh, it's the road reserve and the area that they intend putting the road at both ends is um, bushland, native bushland, dune reserves, um, in pristine condition. They're part of Bush Forever Area 308, which is recognised as regionally significant bushland worthy of protection. It, um, if, a, if a road goes through there, it will involve clearing of vegetation, which currently stabilises the dune system, and it will cause erosion and destroy habitat. I mean, it's, uh, the reserve is an integral part of the succession of land and vegetation extending from the shore, foreshore to the adjacent tree bushland, yep. and it, um, it needs to be protected. And further fragmentation of the small area of mobile quindalup dunes will threaten the long-term viability of the whole coastal dune reserve. It's an irresponsible plan, uh, irresponsible decision, and we're, we're shocked and appalled at um, Kieran Kinsella's comments last night um, about the road being of regional significance. We say, hey, the reserve is of regional significance and it has been of regional significance for since at least 2012. So can you fight it or have they got the ability to overturn uh, those reserve laws that are in place, those reserves? Well, they're, they're subject to state planning policy um, so they will need consultation further, uh, well not so much consultation, we need approval from the Department of Planning. But we also raise the issue, you know, the MRA is part of the Department, well, part of the same Ministry of Planning as the Department of Planning, which manages Bush Forever sites. And we query, is this a conflict of interest? I mean, is the Department of Planning going to say no to its, uh, you know, if it's other department, the MRA? Um, we're very concerned about that and we believe that this is such an important environmental issue for everybody, for the future, mm. for um, for the, and we, our argument too is that if you're looking at tourism potential for Scarborough, then uh, these reserves, these coastal reserves, are important tourism assets, and a lot of people, as we know, come to Western Australia for the natural environment, and this unique piece of um, Trig, South Trig Beach Reserve between two of Perth's very popular beaches. Is, um, is an asset and it needs to be recognised as such. All right. Well, it might be early days, but it's uh, nice to have the discussion now to see what uh, people think of uh, what is being planned. I must say a road along there it does seem to counter the whole notion of making it a more pedestrian and accessible area for people to go down at Scarborough Beach. So we'll try and get Kieran Casella yeah. on to try and explain it to us better, eh? Yes. Ask, ask him about his sustainability policy because it seems to be contrary to that. OK, yes. we'll do. I'll have a look at it. Thanks very much for that. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Gary. That's Robin Murphy uh, for Friends of Trig Beach. If you live around that area, have you thought about this yet or has it just been sprung on you? You're not sort of aware of it behind Ob City. They'll run roads that'll go... Uh, north and south towards West Coast Highway to increase traffic flow. But is it a stupid idea to put a road between people and the beach, you tell me? 9221882 is the number. Uh, next, we're going to be talking about anxiety and whether it's a bit of a put-on for some people.